click my mouse and look what she does. Come here, come here, look at this, look at this. I came here to contract office supplies from the federal government. You got me looking at naked women on the internet. I mean, what is it with you? I hear, it's the clever part. You punch in your credit card number, and the little lady appears on your home printer in full color. <laughs> you gotta love this new technology. I got warehouses full of new technology. Is that where you keep the uh, photo studio? What are you talking about? Credit card receipts. Yeah, the paper trail leads to king size office supplies. Alt sex download. That's you, Mr. King. I am a legitimate businessman. You should be protecting my First Amendment right to free speech instead of threatening me. Free speech? <laughs> Do it to me, baby, harder, harder. The courts uphold the free exchange of adult entertainment on the net. Interstate trafficking of pornography is not free exchange. You guys haven't paid much attention to these IDs. Hey, Kimberly Reeves did a birth march eight. All right, so she lied in her job application. Hey, look, it happened. Stow it, sleazebag. None of these girls are of age. Okay, so maybe one or two of the girls are a couple of months shy of their 18th birthday. It's not like I'm running a kitty porn racket. Okay, maybe you're right. May not even be uh, immoral. Technically. And that's what makes it perfect for me. For you? Yeah. I'm always looking for appropriate investment opportunities. <laughs> Thanks, I don't need a partner. Hey, I don't care what you think you need. You talk nice to your partner. You're gonna live longer. Okay, okay. Okay. Yeah. Now, I'm gonna want some uh, product participation. Naturally. A nice relief from the old ball and chain. Oh, well, that would be me. What the hell are you doing home? Happy anniversary, Donald. He was a cop and good at his job, but he committed the ultimate sin and testified against other cops gone bad. Cops that tried to kill him, but got the woman he loved instead. Framed for murder, now he prowls the Badlands, an outlaw hunting outlaws, a bounty hunter. A renegade. get in here? Well, your partner said you'd be back in a few minutes. Partner? Well, she said she was your partner, a, a blonde. Terminally perky, smells like fruit. Yes, that's her. Yes, I must have given her a promotion while I was in my sleep. Uh, anyway, how can I help you, Mrs. Uh... You don't know me. Well, no, should I? <sighs> well, I guess
guess not. It's just that I've been getting that damn six killer with my morning coffee for so long, I feel like we're related. I'm Melissa Dixon. Mrs. Donald Dixon. Mrs. Dutch Dixon. Get out of my office. No, wait, wait, you don't understand. No, I do understand. Now you tell Dutch I say congratulations on his promotion and get the hell out of my life. No, Donald didn't send me. He doesn't even know I'm here. My husband is a crook, Mr. Sixkiller. The Pope is Catholic, Mrs. Dixon. He's got to be stopped. I want you to do it. Oh, and why me in particular? Well, not just you. You and Reno Reigns. Reno Reigns, I don't know who that is. Please, remember who you're talking to. My husband is Captain Ahab. Your partner's Moby Dick. Let me ask you a question. How many years have you been married? 25 years. Yesterday was my anniversary, as a matter of fact. And after all that time, all of a sudden you want to jump ship and join the whale? For 25 years, I have looked the other way. I have seen no evil, heard no evil. And I can't live like that anymore. Lady, if I got a nickel for every Jamoka walked into my office saying they knew or were looking for Reno Reigns, I'd be living on a houseboat in Cabo. Now you tell Dutch I said, nice try. You tell Reno that I was here. You tell him I'm the one who's gonna help him nail Dutch Dixon. You tell him I'm on his side. <laughs> you know what, man? Your arteries have got to look like the tailpipe of a 55 pan after bike week. Did you know that there's conclusive medical evidence that insufficient dietary fat makes you ill-tempered? Is that a fact? Fact. So what was the big news you couldn't tell me at the office? You had a visitor, Melissa Dixon. Dutch Dixon's wife? Exactly. What does she want? She wants to give up her husband, get rid of him. Says he's a crook. <laughs> no kidding. I haven't figured out the angle on this one yet, but I know he's got one. Wonder why she'd want to roll over on him. Oh, she's got some song and dance about not wanting to live in denial anymore. Well, that sort of makes sense. Oh, come on, you're not gonna buy this one now, are you? No, of course not. Good. Because I want to keep you down on this one. Kick you out of the neighborhood for a while until I can figure this whole thing out. Wonder what he did to her. Okay, I'm here. Now, what's so important you called me in from a stakeout? He used to run on the show in Bay City, and he did that just fine. But we don't have any one-man bands here in CAL. Well, just tell me I don't have the best numbers in the department. Arrest, not convictions. Dutch, this is a, a team operation. We don't go into another team's territory. Oh, territory? Huh. So it's a spraying contest. Starkey and De Felita tell me that you've been working pornography. Well, last time I checked, that's still a crime. We don't need you muddying up our cases. What cases? You guys haven't made a bust since Hugh Grant met Divine Brown. Were you fondling the evidence? Listen, Jack, when you hired me, you knew I was going to be trouble. I'm a pit bull with rabies, and I don't play nice with the children. But who would you rather have guarding your house? Your energy's noted and appreciated. Now, do me a favor. Devote it to criminals at large, OK? And that's all. Yeah, OK, sure. Yes, this is Mr. Robert Sixkiller calling my new partner, Ms. Sandra Crothers. Or are you my new boss? Come on in. SC, phone home. What do you want? I can prove I'm serious. Let me guess. A signed confession by Dutch Dixon. I took these out of his desk. He doesn't even know they're missing. Bank statements. I'm not supposed to know he has them. No one is. Nice bait. So what's the hook? Why won't you believe me? Do you know what it took for me to steal those from him? If he finds out... All right, all right. I'll look at them. This is 10 years of a federal marshal's salary. There's more. I overheard him. I, I wasn't supposed to be home. There's a bribe. $25,000. It's pornography money. Oh, and the girls, they're so young. Porno, that's not his bailiwick. Wait a minute, what am I nuts here? I'm talking to Mrs. Dutch Dixon. Okay, I'll leave him. What? If that's what it takes to prove myself, I'll move out of the house tonight, right now. No, wait a minute. You're much more valuable to me being there. Okay. Okay. 
okay. It's all here. See what happens when uh, we're on the same side? Yeah, well, um, I do sleep better without the federal government breathing down my neck. I've been thinking about your clientele. My clientele? Yeah, those jerks that pay through the nose for virtual reality. What do you suppose they'd pay for real reality? Those jerks are paranoia unlimited. They hide behind computer systems because they're anonymous. You know, they're safe. What if I could guarantee them a safe place with no law enforcement around, except for me? Are you kidding? Talk to me, partner. Where's Reno? He's not coming. I won't let him. Did you even tell him about me? Oh, I did tell him about you. I also told him that I'd shoot him myself before I'd let him get into Dutch Dixon's crosshairs. You know, that's not fair. At least let me talk to him. Mrs. Dixon, you mean well, but you're sleeping with the enemy. I can't let Reno in the same county as you. Why not? Because he thinks he's my mommy. Sorry, man. So, this is the only other person in the world who hates Dutch Dixon as much as I do. Damn it, Reno! Look, I really need to talk to her alone. Would you mind? It's okay. Do you really know what you're letting yourself in for? Well, what's the Anlander's test? Are you better with him or without him? No, no. You're doing more than just leaving him. You're betraying him, okay? He's killed people for less. I know. I never wanted to believe that. I don't care if you believe in the sun rising. I'm not going to be responsible for you getting hurt. <laughs> hurt? Listen, Reno, I'm married to a man who turned in his son for Grand Theft Auto because he borrowed the car without permission. Yeah, but you stayed. I did try to leave him once years ago. He found out, of course. I never tried to leave again. Why'd you want to talk to me? Why not just go to the cop? Donald is a cop. Who could I trust? You know, if we work together, everything is going to change. Good. No, I mean, everything about you is going to change. You'll be lugging around this huge secret, and it'll show. In the way you answer the phone, the way you drink your coffee, he's going to notice. I have to take a step sometime. You know, you should really just turn around and pretend we never met. Can't do it, Reno. I've been pretending for 25 years. I'm done. Okay. Find out everything you can about this pornography ring. This is something new for Dutch. Who knows? Maybe we can get the jump on him for a change. All right. Okay. I'm with you, partner. Great. Take care of it. Listen, I'll get back to you. Bye. I thought I told you to make like Hansel and Gretel and get lost. She's on our side, Bobby. Uh-uh. At best, she's on her own side. Since when did you start being so cynical? Since wounded me. Okay. Reno, this whole thing is crazy. You're gonna walk into a lion's den with a, a big old T-bone steak hanging out of your pocket. Look, this is the best chance I've ever had at clearing myself, okay? The frame around me hangs on one man's word. Melissa Dixon can prove who that man really is. She knows. Every time we get close to Dixon, it's a trap. But we've never had a spy in his camp before. And you trust her with your life? I don't have a life, remember? Look, I do trust her, OK? I, I got to go with my instincts on this one. Don't worry. Call you. Yeah. Yeah, I got to look at his appointment book. Yeah, there have been two meetings with Kay. No, just Kay. No, I couldn't. Well, soon, I hope. No, I can't get away. No. Oh, tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah, tomorrow will be fine. Sure, I'll call you then. Okay, bye. Hi. 
No, I was thinking what you said yesterday. I really was a heel about our anniversary. Come on, let me show you something. I was, uh, gonna get silver. I don't know, I just, just thought this was so much warmer. Oh, well, they're lovely. Perfume? Mm hmm. New outfit? Very, very sexy. Who's that on the phone? G uh, Jean from the office. Yeah. Uh, problems with an inspection. An inspection? The uh, Kberg place. Who did you think it was? Oh, I don't know. I thought maybe. Some hard body and tight jeans. Oh, <laughs> you're not jealous. Remember when we were kids? We used to take your, your dad's old Woody up to the airfield there, park it on the tarmac, get that old blue blanket out of the trunk, the one with the fringe. <laughs> used to do that thing. That thing? Felita still got their jockey shorts in a bunch. No, this isn't about them. I understand you took out a couple of sparring partners at the gym yesterday. X's on their eyes. I thought that's what it was all about. Dutch. There were a couple of green cadets. They were kids. They had 30 years on me. I sent the little pups home whimpering. Well, you sent one of them to the emergency room. Is there something going on with you I ought to know about? Jack, how long have you and Jeannie been married? 22 years. Almost as long as you, champ. You ever think that maybe she was cheating on you? Here, my anniversary present. Probably on a hot sheet somewhere. Good old Dutch. Always an angle. Do you know how he got that nickname? Yeah. His perpetrators had a nasty habit of dying before the trial. Cops used to call it doing the Dutch. No. He got it back in high school. Because he had a kid brother who was 10 years younger, Ronnie, and he was kind of kind of scrawny and kind of slow. And anybody who picked on him only picked on him once, because Don would beat the tar out of him. And so one of the guys at school started calling Don Ronnie's Dutch uncle. And Don liked it and then had everybody call him Dutch. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but it's just hard for me to imagine Dutch Dixon in shining armor. What happened then? Oh, Ronnie died, cerebral aneurysm, and Don just was never the same. He got me? He got more. You know, um, protective turned into possessive, ambitious turned into greedy, and strong turned into vicious. Why didn't you just leave? Till death do us part. And when do you break that vow? When they get sick? When they get fat? When they get mean? Well, the Dutch Dixon I know, when I was in prison, found an inmate dying of leukemia. Said to him, hey, you're dead anyway. Kill Reno Reigns and uh, I'll leave your wife and baby alone. Well, what happened? Well, he obviously turned him down. But why? Well, uh, I, I think he wanted to do the same thing that you want to do. The right thing. After this is all over, what are you going to do? Well, I was, was going to move to Nashville, Tennessee. Nashville? Don't tell me. 
You're a secret country singer. <laughs> no. But you can get a four-bedroom house there for about 100 grand. And people smile when they see you coming. And the only kids out tagging are playing hide-and-seek. <laughs> what are you going to do? Life after Dixon. I never dared think about it. <laughs> Imagine going down the highway, looking at my rearview mirror, and seeing a flashing red light, and knowing the cop is just going to pull me over for a speeding ticket. Hmm. Meeting people and telling them my real name. Well, you could settle down, buy a house. Oh, don't get me started with uh, Christmas trees and puppies, the girl next door. I'd settle for a membership at a video club. So, where do we stand? Oh, well, um, I got the guy's name. It's King, Davis King. And he's got some other legitimate business, too, but I don't know what it is. Well, don't worry about it, because Bobby will know his collar size by tomorrow. Good work. Oh, uh, one more thing. Oh. No, I look, I want to stop him. I don't want to kill him. I just want you to be able to protect yourself, just in case. Please. Yeah, but the Dutch wouldn't hurt me. Just in case. So what about this isn't clear, huh? You give me your list, your best clients, a 39% bracket or better, give me access to your commodity, and I'll do the rest. You guaranteed me a safe location. I want to see it. You already have. What do you mean, I already have? Now I'm psychic? It's this house. Oh, great. Now I'm in business with Henny Youngman. Nobody's ever going to dream there's going to be a sex party in the house of a US federal marshal. You're insane. You don't get it, do you? This is my domain, man. I rule here. I control every inch of this place. Nothing happens here that I don't control. There'll be no cops, no crashers, and no interruptions. Anything goes wrong, this thing screws up. You're front page news, and I'm history. I'll let you in on a secret part. I've done this sort of thing before. <laughs> you think I got my junior GPA badge out of a box of Cheerios? It ain't gonna screw up from my end, King. Just send me the list. Or better yet, Mr. We Got the Technology, why don't you email it to me? Mr. We Got the Technology, why don't you email it to me? Wow. My own house. He's gonna have a porno party in my house. I think he's got something more in mind than just fun and games. What do you mean? I think he's trolling for deep pockets. He certainly doesn't need client information to engrave invitations. So what, like he's gonna prosecute them? No, I don't think so. I think he's making a little list, and everybody that goes to Dutch Dixon's party is gonna be paying for their mistakes over and over and over again. Boy, that's our boy Dutch, huh? Just when you think he's sunk as low as you can go, he dives. Well, this is one party I'm not gonna miss. Can you help us find out when this little party's gonna happen? Yeah, I guess so. I mean, without blowing your cover, I don't want you to put yourself at risk. No, it's okay. He doesn't suspect a thing. Did you say something? No. This is good. Where'd you buy it? I made it. Huh. No kidding. So, how was work? The usual. A losing battle against the bleeding heart system to put some low-life scum out of their misery. Mrs. Dixon? Yes. Mrs. Dixon, I'm afraid there's been some trouble. Up at Paso Rubles, a fight in the cafeteria. Um, your son, I'm sorry, Mrs. Dixon, your son was killed by another inmate. Oh, no. oh God, Donald. Ah. Donald. <laughs> What's the matter with 
you. The man just told us our son is dead. He acted like he delivered a pizza. What? That is fine. Fine? Yeah, there was no fight, no inmate. I just wanted to show you something. Show me what? Bad things can happen when you hang out with the wrong people. The wrong people? You didn't think I'd find out that you're meeting with a fugitive in my backyard? Don't you have any respect for me anymore, even as a police officer? No, of course what not. I... Listen, anything that Reno Rain says about me is a lie. He's a killer, Lissy. Ted Bundy with a tattoo. You think you're the only woman he ever had to go fetch for him? Well, what does this have to do with Donnie? Donnie? Well, that's a little preview. A taste. A taste? What kind of monster are you? Hey, I'm the man you married. Do you remember that? No, no. Uh, uh, it's OK. It's all right. Yeah, sure. Yeah, I'll stop. I, I, I won't talk to him anymore. Oh, God damn. Are you kidding me? You're going to be my little chatty Kathy doll. meeting like this. I'm sorry. Uh, well, shine up my merit badge. I got a break in the case. That's terrific. What'd you find out? Party's on Friday. This Friday? Oh, uh, I'm not sure, but, but definitely Friday. Uh, two weeks from Friday? The second Friday in April? Just Friday. Doesn't that help? Sure, of course it does. I just wanted to tell you as soon as I found out. That's great, Melissa. Great, great. <laughs> and trust me, you'll be running videos before you know it. Bobby, Dutch got to her, he knows. Grab a bucket. It's time to bail. Are you kidding? We're almost home free. As soon as we get a date. Don't you get it? Don't you get it? Your mole has turned. No matter what we do, Dutch Dixon will always be a step ahead of us. We can use this, Bobby. I don't like the way this sounds. OK, so Dutch knows. But we know that he knows. We can turn it against him. Call in the lions. Dinner's ready. Are you listening to me? No, you listen to yourself, Sir Galahad. Now, I know you don't want to cut her loose, but. Hey. This is not an emotional decision, OK? Right. Go ahead and pull the other one. I know Dixon better than anybody knows him. When I sleep, I dream his nightmares. I know how he thinks. We can pull the rug right out from under him. Figure it out, Melissa. Wait a minute, wait a minute. No, 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 don't hurt me, please. Don't hurt me. What makes you think I'd hurt you? Well, because Dutch said so? What else did he say? That I was a murderer? And a liar and a manipulator. Melissa, look at me. I'm an outlaw because he made me that way. I'm not a liar or a killer. And I would never hurt you. Oh. Oh God. Oh, I'm such an idiot. I'm such an idiot. Hey, is that any way for Nashville's top realtor to talk? Do you have kids? No. 
He threatened Donnie. He, he threatened to kill him. Well, not in so many words, of course, not so you could go to the police, the real police, his own son. He was just trying to scare you. Well, he did a good job. I give up. No, you can't. We're too close. Oh, too close to what, Reno? The edge of the cliff? I, I can't do this. I, I don't have your courage. Courage isn't the absence of fear. Courage is being scared and doing it anyway. I think you're the most courageous woman I know. Hey, we can win this one. We have the advantage. Oh, how? He knows. Yeah, but we know that he knows. It keeps us ahead. He thinks he's pulling the strings. But there's no puppet on the other end. All I need is a date and a time, and a partner that's gonna back me up. Partner. How much of the dinner salads add to the total cost? Jeez, what are you serving? Shredded C notes? Forget about it. It's Friday, the 29th, at 8 o'clock. It's 10744 Bell Reeve. R E V E. Of course, I'm going to messenger a check right away. It's been marvelous doing, doing business with you two. Thank you very much. Bye. We are in the wrong business. It's catering where the money is. No, it's not. Blackmail. Did you get that, honey? you in Sandalwood. Makes me feel like I'm 22 again. Yeah, just the day before yesterday. Hmm. Goes so fast. I guess we're just an inch from the grave. Not you, Donald. You're indestructible. Hmm. Well, maybe you're right. I guess I told you about the shindig we're having tonight. Tonight? Is that? Oh, well, I have to be at the office tonight. Nice try, Lissy. Dominic, Dominic here will escort you to the party. Rena Raines is going to be my date. I'm so pleased you invited him. Invited? Everybody should have a send-off like this. It's the last day of Rena Raines' life. We're all dressing up for it. Get dressed. What the hell are you doing here? Crashing a party. What do you got? Such a case of amnesia? We got a squad car full of vice cops going to that party. Well, then call them off, Bobby. This thing's going down sideways. What are you talking about? I haven't heard from Melissa, okay? She's in trouble. I'm gonna go get her out of there. So you're gonna kidnap a federal marshal's wife? Well, I'm not gonna abandon her, Bobby. So let me get this straight. You're gonna ride in solo on Dutch Dixon when he's dug in his own turf. That's insane. Look, the only people on his turf are naked women and men in raincoats. He won't be thinking of me. He's always thinking about you. Why don't you go ahead and shoot yourself right here? Save him the trouble. I gotta go. You know I do. I'm gonna go with you. No, you're not. Oh, yes, I am. I'm not gonna hang in this office with my finger up my nose while you walk into a firestorm. Keep your finger on 911. 
I'll move faster alone. It'll be okay. Oh. No, it won't. Lot, your dance card is full. You should know better than to hide your valuables in your underwear oh, drawer, Lissy. It's the first place the bad guys always look. You think you can walk into my house, my house, and then walk out with my wife? Give it up, Reigns. You shot her. You shot your own wife. She turned on me. Dog goes rabid. You put it down. Besides, I didn't shoot her, you did. It's your gun. That'll never fly, Dixon. Oh, yeah. Got a bunch of witnesses upstairs. Who? Your porno hounds? You think they'll back you up? I guess I forgot to tell you. The sex party, that's next week. Tonight, we got the policeman's ball. We're in here! This way! Stop her, I'll shoot! Rita Rain, you shot my wife. Get in there! Go on, get him, get him! Clean up that mess in the yard. I know. It's okay, I got him, Precious. You're, you're safe. Oh. Oh. He did. The Dutch. 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 She wants you. Oh. Shh. Don't move, Precious. Uh, uh, uh. What? Tell me what? She's gone. He's gone. What? There's nobody in the yard. Poof. Well, what do you think's upstairs? The garden club? Go! She was trying to tell us something. And hell reigns. Murdered her in cold blood. I promise you, Dutch. Full resources of the United States Marshals Task Force are behind you. 
We will not let your wife's death go unavenged. Like a seven pin that's just been picked up for the spare. <laughs> Thank God it wasn't a rhino load, pal. What are you doing here? Free hors d'oeuvres? He shot her, Bobby. <sighs> Killed his own wife. Yeah, I know. It's all over the scanner. Come on, let me help you out. Uh, congratulations, pal. You just became the most wanted man in America. What did he do? Turn into a freaking bat and fly away? APB like he's gonna go to the bus station? Come on, Starkey, buy a vowel. I'm on uh, two weeks compassionate leave. <laughs> I'm mourning. Not to write. Yeah, I've done this before, remember? Yeah, but Dutchie raised the bar big time. I'll survive. Wish I could say the same thing for Melissa. Till death do us part. Truer words never spoken. It wasn't your doing. Melissa made her choice. I know. Just that I'm the one that's got to live with it. Thank you.